In this video, we teach you how to set up a hopper all by yourself. When you get started on Crypto Hopper, you will first encounter what we call the new user wizard. First, let's create a hopper and connect it to your exchange. A hopper can be a trading bot, market maker, or arbitrage hopper. You will learn the other hopper types as well. But first, let's create a trading bot. Choose the right exchange for you. In this example, let's go for Binance. Now we see templates all with different base currencies. A base currency is something you're going to get questions about. It's simple though. The base currency is what your hopper uses to buy other currencies. When you sell a position, it'll sell back to this base currency. With that in mind, you do need funds in a base currency on your account, so your hopper can buy assets in the first place. A stablecoin, like Euro, Dollar, or the crypto version of the dollar, called USDT, are more stable in value, which makes them easier to trade. Some users choose Bitcoin as their base currency, but it can get complicated, as it is a volatile currency rather than a stable currency. This means it's constantly fluctuating in value. It can be a great way to accumulate more crypto, but like we said, stablecoins provide more security. So we're picking out which stablecoin we want. Let's go for USDT. We now have two options. We can simulate your funds with paper trading or actually connect your exchange account. We'll go for the actual connection. We'll fill in the necessary keys and voila, your hopper is now connected to your exchange. Well done. Your funds should be displayed here. Adjust the start balance to the amount that you've started with, so you know exactly how much profit you've made. The last step in setting up your hopper is to import any investments you've made, so that you can start tracking their profits or losses. Go to Current Assets and click Synchronize. Select all assets you want to import and make sure to fill in for how much you've bought them. Your hopper won't know what the profit is if you don't. If you don't know the buy price anymore, simply select them and we'll use the current price and show a 0% profit. If you don't have funds in the base currency, you can simply sell some assets and convert it to your base currency. For example, let's say USDT is your base currency. If you don't have enough USDT funds on your exchange, but you have other coins that you're not using, you can always convert that coin to USDT. When using hoppers, you need to have funds in your base currency, because the hopper will only use those funds from your exchange. One last thing about your base currency and markets. Exchanges offer markets. Take USD markets. In these markets, USD can be traded for another coin and back again. For example, you can trade USD for Bitcoin or Ethereum and back again. It's not limited to USD. You can do the same thing with Bitcoin. Bitcoin also called BTC, often has the most available markets, meaning you can trade Bitcoin for almost anything. If you have selected a base currency with fewer markets, this could mean that your hopper wouldn't be able to buy all coins. That was a lot. In this video, we covered how to create a hopper from scratch, what is a base currency, why stable coins are helpful and easy to trade, why Bitcoin can be helpful as a base currency but is more difficult to trade, how to synchronize assets and convert them to positions. Great, you know how to set up Crypto Hopper. This is a big step. Don't forget to sometimes take a five minute break and reread your notes. Next up, API keys and exchanges.